Allen, would you give us the project report? Madam Chair and Board, you have the uh, project report, existing industry report in front of you. If you'll please follow along with me. Project Maroon is moving along nicely. We have completed uh, our economic development and city proposal term letter to them for uh, for due diligence and review. So that is uh, that's positive and moving nicely. Project Express Scripts uh, is moving along on track. Uh, they uh, they will complete their second training session or are in fact completing their second training session this week. They'll begin hiring for their third <coughs> training cohort. Uh, they that hiring will take place between now and Labor Day, and right after Labor Day, they will start that third training cohort. So that project is moving along nicely. Uh, project Jack, which is manufacturing, uh, we did meet um, with the company's senior leadership team. We presented a, uh, two courses of action for them for expansion of their existing manufacturing operation. They asked us to come back with an, an additional course of action. We developed that and provided it to them. Uh, they received that on Friday. Uh, so I'll expect to hear something from them. Uh, we'll talk probably tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, project Harvest, which is a, another manufacturing service project. Uh, we had a meeting this afternoon where we brought uh, some bankers and some other uh, opportunities for uh, some financial capital investment into that project. Uh, and so that meeting was, was moving along nicely. So that project is on course. We're preparing for a visit for their international CFO. Uh, to visit us uh, within the next 30 days, and so we'll want to have some proposals to put in front of them then. Uh, project Wire, which is another manufacturing uh, project, an expansion of a, of a local existing business that has picked up some very good contracts that uh, is going to require some uh, some hiring and also a, an expansion into a new 50,000 foot manufacturing facility. Uh, we're in the final stages of site selection, talking with architects and also talking with some builders about how we develop that. Um, with the Georgia Power Advanced Solar Initiative, I'm, I'm happy to tell you that beginning Monday, we had permitting for the installation of that facility adjacent to most free wastewater treatment plant. Piles were being driven this week. Uh, there are 600 of those piles that will be driven. Uh, then uh, within two weeks we'll come back do the racking for the uh, solar panels. Then the solar panels will go in. So we're uh, right on schedule on where we need to be for that. That is a 1.25 megawatt solar photovoltaic facility on about 6.5 acres of land. So that's very good. So that's our second major solar in that's, the that's right. And we have one other major one which is which is in the works right now. Right. Alan, let's get us on power tunnel megawatts that Mud Creek gets this down. Yeah, well, if we take this 1.25 and we add to that about another 0.5 a megawatt, so we would be up close to 3 megawatts. Mm -hmm. So that's good. And uh, this second larger utility scale project we're working, uh, that could uh, that could be between 15 and 20 megawatts. Now, it would not be at Mud Creek, but it would be on another location in Lowndes County. So that's very good. So we're very happy about that. Uh, you can see the existing industry report there. We continue to work those uh, very diligently and our opportunities for existing industry expansion are coming primarily from those. You can see uh, the companies that we visited. Megan mentioned uh, a John Deere water expansion announcement. You have a copy of that on your desk. Just to let you know that John Deere has now officially announced a significant manufacturing expansion here in Valdosta and Lowndes County. Uh, we still don't have specific dollar values and jobs for that, but it is a significant uh, enhancement to their product lines and some significant employment opportunities. So that's good. Um, and congratulations to the staff, because I know y'all have been working that one for a while. So. Thank you. We, we and uh, Community Business and Industry Partnership Workforce Development Initiative, Megan mentioned that. Uh, we had our workforce development initiative uh, initial meeting today. We brought together in two listening <laughs> sessions uh, our manufacturing champions and our logistics distribution champions. I think they were very good sessions. We, we got a lot of information uh, that relates to challenges and concerns and issues for our logistics distribution champions and our manufacturing champions. We've now converted those to action items for us to work with our community educators. And I'd like, I was there, and like the other board members, you know, we had a 
great representation from both school systems, from Wiregrass, from uh, Georgia Military, as well as BSU, and we had a good representation for both sessions from our industry, so we really appreciate that. Mayor Gale mm -hmm. made a, came and um, was there with us, which we really appreciate. I think that was one of his first outings it since was. his surgery, right. so he made a special effort to come and show his endorsement for the whole effort, so we had a great turnout. It, it, it was a good event. Thank you. Um, you are. You will begin to see our new industrial park signage as we move it across our other parks now. Uh, there's really two avenues of that signage. The first is the marquee signage on our theme signage that we have for Westside and Miller. So you'll see that move to all of our parks. And also uh, industrial property available signs. We have the, the new companion signs that go. The first one of those up is in West Side. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, look at it. They look very good. Uh, we, uh, we intend to have that work completed by the 1st of November. And then you can see the industrial park uh, acreage update. No change there in acreage. Uh, Madam Chair, that concludes my report. Okay, thank you. Um, does the building committee have an update?